Yes, sir. It's another Friday, and that means it's time for Black Friday right here on Podcast and Chill with McG. This is the part of the show where we make your business our business, and if you want to tell us what you do, and if you want to get word out there about what you do, it's simple. Just drop us an email. The address is podcast at this is McG.com, and you could be sitting right here and telling us exactly what it is that you do, because we want to know what you do. Like, TD. Hi, Tidi. How are you doing? I'm doing good in South Lane. I'm good. Can't complain. Sure. Um, it's not often that we, we actually get to sit down with um, um, somebody who's in, who's in the agency space. And that's exactly where you are playing at, if I can put it that way. Yeah. Tell us a bit more about exactly what it is that you do. So I am within the creative agency space. Yeah. We've been running the company for the last five years. I hit the company. So we are a creative agency, but we solely um, service yeah. clients that want to impact society positively. Yes. Um, we are about driving positive social change within communities. Therefore, our clients are really NGOs, foundations, government, and we... Um, uh, um, give them a service to do communications for development strategies. So that's the kind of marketing that we do, very different from what you would find from a normal marketing agency. Yeah. So we sell um, social impact and we sell um, uh, you know, people changing behavior for good. Yeah. So transforming what government seems would, if they're running a campaign on um, HIV and AIDS, for example. Yes. So we would uh, come up with a campaign as to how they can change behavior for people to actually take in whatever messaging that they want to give. Interesting. Um, and I'm saying interesting because the minute one thinks about a creative agency, you will think about doing such or communicating, whatever it is that needs to be communicated, yeah. but doing it for a brand. Mm -hmm. Why did you specifically go the route that you went? I've always been passionate about uh, social responsibility and I think my passion also lies with working with young people. Yeah. And when I started the business, I had um, just had children and I didn't have enough time to be a graphic designer at an yeah. agency because it does require long hours. So I, I, I started my own business only because I wanted to manage my own time. But more importantly, I wanted a business that actually resonated with what I do, what, I, yeah. what I'm passionate about, what I like doing, and therefore um, also convert my communication skills into um, doing work, work, work that, we, that I like. Yeah. And that's how I got into social marketing. So, um, and also, I started having a lot of clients who wanted to communicate um, their work and their services in a way that actually changed behavior. And what you'd find with your normal marketing agencies, it's about selling that brand. Yeah. And it's about getting a consumer to finally buy a product at the end. Whereas for us, the message at the end is to get a consumer to actually change behavior that would benefit themselves and the environment around them. So similar, so right now we're talking coronavirus. Yes. We would actually be part of the agencies that would be in communities, that would be driving messages in how you can protect yourself from corona. Interesting that you mentioned that actually. Um, in, in, in the space that you're in, um, and especially working with government and, 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 and trying to get a message across to the greater public. Mm -hmm. Are you in the space whereby, or rather, I would like to think you're in the space whereby you're actually able to ascertain uh, the reach that you have? Do you go traditional media to communicate what you need to communicate? Do you go digital? Do you go online? What have you found to be the most effective means to get the message across? We use all channels right um depending on the target market of yeah. course so but what mainly would work for a client like government you've yeah. got various other clients but then for a client like government you'd have to look at radio this is where we would then drive their messaging but um what we really are for is going on the ground and doing activations where we meet people where we have dialogues with people where they can also get insights of what their communities are saying and how they can better their services wherever you know that, that whatever the sector would yeah. be so uh, mainly more of what we would do is on the ground having dialogues um uh, having printing print out material yeah. that they can read in their own languages 
um, also having the dialogue in their own languages as well. But also we never have those activations by ourselves because we don't work in silos in yeah. our creative world. We'd work with the stakeholders, so we'd work with the NGOs that are already in that environment. We'd work with the government departments that are already in that environment. And we'd also work with community structures that are also in that environment and, um, and pass. Well, all, it's like a huge ma- message matrix yeah. where they all have to get insights that they need to work together. So social marketing really isn't individual kind of messaging is messaging that's about building Africa, building your own community. So it's understanding who whose part who has to play that part. Yeah. Um, it's about active citizenship. So that's um, where we would really drive the messaging if we're looking if we looked at a client like government. You know, upon starting this conversation, um, I was supposed to. Uh, <laughs> sort of like sit and ask you so like yeah what's the name of your company what's the name of the agency which is something i didn't say because i i always find fascination in names uh that that that, that people give to companies mm-hmm. in some instances you have people that attach it to themselves mm-hmm. uh for whatever reason in you naming your company obviously you're going to tell me the name yeah. uh, what was the reasoning and what is the logic behind that Oh, well, seeing the name of the you, company... Seeing that you're a passion-driven person. <laughs> I know. The name of the company is called Guambele Social Marketing. Yeah. Guambele. So, you know, we go to CIPC and they ask you to give a list of... Names. Names. Yes. This was the fourth name. So, it was one of those, yeah, you know, that's it's not going to work. I had really cool names for, like, an agency would have. Yeah. Um, but, obviously, it's, it's, you know, it's by destiny that it actually is a name that is um, my... Married surname, mm. so it's it will be part of the legacy that I would leave for my children as well to have the Kwambele name in there. So it's actually um, my husband's surname, well now my surname. Oh. <laughs> the challenges in, in 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 the in the creative uh, in the creative space. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, you did mention that you don't work in silos. You you do you have other stakeholders that you work with, but in the five years that you've been in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, what have you found to be some of the tough spots that you had to deal with? Um, tough spots for us would be really gaining traction and getting more corporate clients. Mm. Um, when we do work with the corporate clients, it's usually through a connection because they're doing work that involves communities. Yeah. So um, trying to do a lot of work for CSIs, um, which are initiatives that corporates can, you know, do themselves. Yes. Um, it's difficult because it's run within and it's run from a subjective point of view where they just do what they think will work for the community without doing the research. Yeah. So our challenge really has been in, um, in, in, in entering into the corporate world. So doing not really doing their CSI, but really doing messaging for their CSI and yeah. also aligning it with what the rest of their development sector is doing. Uh, for example... Um, you'd find that you'd have a company that feeds children at school. With a soup kitchen type with a of soup, thing, yes. Which is great, but you would want them to work with a stakeholder that understands nutrition. Yeah. What are you feeding? When are you feeding it? Who are you feeding it to? Who needs it? So those are the type of things that we'd want them to think about, that they're actually contributing to uh, uh, um, sustainable goals when it comes to poverty. Are they really addressing the, 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 the right issues? Will it have an impact? So if uh, um, feeding the kids at school is, yeah, th- that you can do. But what is it that drives these young people not to have food yeah. at home before they go to school? Would be some of the challenges that we want them to um, address holistically instead of just doing a soup kitchen, if you get what we mean. So I, we're I really guess. about that. We are... We do communication for development for our clients. All right. So if any of the chillers are probably listening to this at work and the comms manager happens to pass by and they need to work with Kwambele, sure. how do they get hold of you? Um, they can find us on our social media handles. For Twitter, it's uh, at Kwambele. Facebook is Kwambele Social, Me- Social Marketing. And on Instagram, it's at Kwambele. Otherwise, they can find us on, uh, on email, info at guambele.co.za. All right, cool stuff. Uh, TV, thank you very much for sure. your time. Uh, refreshing conversation uh, that we just had because it uh, opened up a lot of 
gates that were closed in my head. Yeah. So, yeah, start thinking more broadly now. Yeah. Yeah. And but anyway, once again, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, yeah, that has been another episode of Podcast and Chill with Medji, the Black Friday edition. And don't forget, if you want to get a hold of us, it's simple. Just drop us an email. The address is podcast at thisismegji.com. And yeah, you could be sitting right here and telling us exactly what it is that you do. On that note, myself, Len Moleko, I'm out of here. I will see you on the flip side. 